Hey guys, Arthur here coming to you with another video on what's going on in the world of Pokemon Go. Before we get into the video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications for whenever these videos go up, and share the video, and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about the video, uh, what's the topic going on in the video, how you feel about that, and let's dive right in. Pokemon Go players report mass exodus following remote raid controversy. Seems like a lot of people are leaving the game every week and every day. Pokemon Go players have been reporting a drop in raid activity since an unpopular update from April 6th hindered the use of remote raid passes. So it's been 20, uh, 14 days. Today's the 20th, so it's been two weeks since that implementation of the change. Since Tapu Bulu temporarily joined Pokemon Raids in the latest event, multiple Reddit threads have appeared showing evidence of drops in player activity around them. Some pointed how pointed out how the uh, PokeGenie app showed low numbers in remote raid parties for Tapu Bulu, while others made memes about how they couldn't find players to team up with <laughs> yeah of course when you limit people from using the amount of remote raids they can use daily and then you increase the prices of course it's going to affect it and of course people are going to leave and quit like if you limit people they're not going to be happy about it you're restricting other players especially rural players and disabled players where you don't have six friends in your local area who can drop their lives with 30 minute notice joked another pointing out how inconvenient in-person raids were like i said guys people don't have time anymore people are more used to now remote raiding and they don't have the time to deal with and going to in-person raids drive like 25 30 minutes maybe 10 15 minutes around to do like three, three or four or five raids a day. People don't have that much time. They don't have much that much money because you're already you're you're already spending money on the game itself, and then you have to waste your gas money. You are gonna have to waste um, a lot of stuff just just in order to in person raid, just to play the game in person. Just go outside, go uh, and do it. With the update earlier this month, Niantic limited the number of daily passes uses and increased their price in Pokecoins. It's part of a global direction in favor in, in favor in person play that was confirmed by the developer when the COVID nineteen pandemic restrictions were lifted. They were lifted a long time ago. I don't know why they decided to do it around this time. They were lifted a long, long time ago, especially in the States. Their, their stance was strengthened by rolling out events that prevent remote participation, such as elite raids. Like, they, you knew that they hated remote raids because of what they did to elite raids. And other restrictions, seems like they restricted other, did other restrictions for remote raids. This, they feature time-limited appearances of special Pokemon in given days and raids don't, uh... And raids don't allow the use of remote raid passes. It makes those events incredibly rest uh, restrictive and controversial. I bet you a lot of people didn't do them. You would have had a way better number if you let allowed remote raids for those Pokemon. What happens when you try in? in I guess this is a meme. Where are players? Where are they? <laughs> like three people there waiting in person. Well, the, there's a raid going on. Community backlash has been raging since those updates went live, and it looks like players have started drop departing Pokemon Go. Um, slowly and steadily, people are leaving. Yes, you can see it through your community, uh, especially every com every social media that has a Pokemon Go community. They're like they're dead without raids, without remote raiding. They're dead. The communities are dead. You go in, you say, especially on Discord, you go in and say, ask for 
or say, hey, I got a raid. Anybody want to do this? And people are like, oh, no. We need more people. I don't have, I don't have, uh, I don't have that much time to waste my daily pass on that. No. Sorry. But if it was like before the 6, it was like, yeah, let me go help you out. Let me go buy myself a remote raid and let me help you out there. Now it's like, oh, people are just holding tight to those five day limits. And then there you go. Um, they're not going to do it. Unless it's like it's a big Pokemon, especially if they have, they have like 10, 15 people. Some even call this the end phase for the game. It is the end. The, they are literally killing their game. Years after its release, saying those changes purposely affected the larger player base who don't put money into the game, which is called free to play. People that play for free. One well, developer is now focusing on its big title, Monster Hunter Now, which was probably fell, just like how they were focusing on Wizards Unite, which failed, and we we're glad that it failed, showing you the fact that people don't want to go outside and play a game in person, especially how dangerous it is outside. But they don't care about your safety. They care about your data. They care about, oh, look, that guy went to one person. That went to a raid. He went. He did a raid. He died, but who cares? He went to the raid. He went in person. We're Neantic. We don't care about your life there. All we tell you to do is just check your surroundings, and that's it. But we don't care about your, how if you die after you done the raid. We don't care. We don't. We're Neantic. We don't care. It's dangerous out there, but go outside anyways. Go outside. We're Neantic. Listen to us. You want to play our game? Go play in person. And I'm hoping that it fails big. I'm hoping that nobody downloads that stupid game. So that they can fail. They can fail real big. And notice that you don't really care. Meanwhile, Niantic has shown no sign of backtracking. Remote raids, pass update, and other changes hindering remote play for free-to-play users. They don't care. They don't care. Niantic has made a choice. And they are, they're gonna, in two months, they're going to have to make a big choice. Once their numbers for that data, to sell their data, looks not good. When you have, if you have 60% of your player base not played anymore, even 70%, and it probably will get to that number, 70%. And you're going to try to sell 30% of data, of, of that data? You think people, you think p companies are going to like that? Like, oh my God, look at the numbers you had last time to the numbers that you had before. Not only did it affect people that were remote rating and doing everything like that, it also affect people that were actually in person hosting those raids. So when that also affects other people, other people that were actually going outside and going and going to that raid because people were actually do were hosting going to that raid and that now they're not doing any, that anymore and now they're not playing no more so sooner or later you're not you're gonna have either players that are gonna delete the game or they're, they're gonna have the game but they're not gonna go into it like i'm right i'm right now i'm not i haven't been playing a lot i haven't been playing a lot there's probably a lot of players that are haven't been playing in a lot, unless it's like a big, like a big event when it comes to maybe community day. There's another event coming in, which is probably why they did something like that, and it's a research now, a research day. Then after that research day, it's gonna be another community day, which is the Swine Up uh, Classic Community Day. That's the only way other players are going to be playing outside in person because there's going to be a lot more players out there. That's the only other way people are going to be playing a lot is those like type of events, like three-hour events. Other than that, you're not going to get a lot of playing time. You're not going to like your numbers, and they're not going to like their numbers. And you're going to be like, yeah, and like two to three months, they're going to have to make a choice to gain back the trust 
they're going to have to make a swift decision and decide, okay, not only are we going to have to retract what we did in April 6th, this is Niaki, this is their thinking process. They're going to have to think like this. We have to retract what we did on April 6th, bring back the remote raids, lip, uh, bring get rid of the limitations, and they're going to have, have to add a few other little trinkets in order to bring back that player base. Are they going to bring back a majority of them back after they lost their trust? They're going to bring back a majority, but they're not going to bring everybody back. They're not, because people are lost, lost faith in Niantic. They have lost faith in Pokemon Go. But the two, one of the things they have to do is to allow people to hoard remote rates, to hoard them, not to do, and uh, not to limit them, but to hoard them. Let them have abundance of remote rates. You allow them, you allow them for premium passes. I don't know. I don't know the issue with that. Why, why would you allow it for premium passes, not for remote raids? Like, I get it. This is not where you wanted to attend, but the thing is, you shouldn't have done it to begin with. You want, you didn't want it to get to this level. You should have never thought about creating remote raid passes. You wanted people to keep on playing while they were locked in their homes, and that was good. What you should have done was getting rid of it after that first year on 2020 after 2020 you should have ended it not get let not let people get used to it you would have had a little bit less people complaining if they if they did that now it was too late now too late you built a fan base when it comes to remote raids people loved it and you now destroyed their faith in you and you got to win it back. And that's one of the ways to win it back is by giving them the ability to hoard remote raids. Unlimited. You can get to 50, maybe 100 remote raids. People like 70, 60, 50. If you, let, if you allow it for premium passes, you should allow it for remote raids. It's one way. The other way, make them cheaper make them cheaper than premium passes for a year make them cheaper for premium passes for a year not for the months that you did it for a whole year you make remote raids cheaper 50 coins and then the bundle 150 coins you make them cheaper and that's how you get your fan base back you're not going to get all of them back you're not going to get all your players back you're going to get a majority back you got to earn that trust again it takes a while to build up that trust and now it's going to take a long time to build that trust again you failed them once you you don't deserve a trust again you don't, you don't deserve respect you don't deserve you got to earn it now. You got to earn that trust again. You got to earn that respect again. And that's what you got to do. You got to earn it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, how you feel about this. Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about Niantic? Uh, if, if you agree with what I uh, just said right there, let me know in the comment section if you agree. Um, if you have other things that they can do to earn people's trust again, let me know in the comment section. Smash that like, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications for when this video and other videos go up. And uh, share the video. And like I said, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Have you already left the game? Have you? Are you going to leave the game? And do you believe that they should earn your trust again? Earn your respect again? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace out.